Buckminster Fuller said, never show unfinished work. I'm going to show two guitars that are both quite unfinished, uh, recently strung up. This one has only been strung up a couple of days. They both just have a uh, sealer coat of finish on them and uh, look quite unpresentable. But uh, they'll give you an idea of the difference between a, um, a classical and a flamenco. This is a classical guitar, um, and there is a crossover guitar called a negra, uh, which has also got uh, the Indian or uh, Brazilian uh, rosewood back and sides, or per perhaps some other sort of, uh, of rosewood. But the main thing is that uh, the classical is, is rather more massive. It's probably half again as heavy as, as a flamenco. Uh, and just obeying the laws of physics, when you've got uh, uh, more mass to move, it's gonna, going to move, going to get started moving more slowly, which means the attack is a little slower, and it's going to stay moving longer, so the sustain is longer. So it's a, it's a direct trade-off between uh, um, uh, speed of attack brightness you might say snappiness uh and uh, and sustain you can have uh there, there may be a way to get both but i haven't figured it out yet mm -hmm. at any rate um this is a um, an east indian classic and this is the first uh, uh guitar i've built with uh, redwood this is a pretty extraordinary redwood so it's not just the kind of thing you go down to the lumber yard and buy um and uh, so i'll play a little bit of uh of what would be appropriate, relatively slow uh, flamenco on it, and also try to play a little bit of faster stuff and give you an idea of how the notes seem to kind of step on each other. Uh, at any rate, nice long sustain. Complete with fret buzzes. There, this fingerboard has just been um, had the frets pressed in and been glued onto the guitar. I haven't done any fret work on it at all. So the little funny buzzes you hear you wouldn't normally hear. Uh, now let's suppose I'm going to play something moderate uh, speed uh, flamenco. tempo, maybe 120 beats the minute, um, and that works pretty well. That would be the typical uh, sound of a flamenco negra. Uh, but now if you want to play bulerias, which goes really, really fast, and which I, I, I'm going to be a little bit inhibited on because you really need a, a tap plate for playing that, uh, you'll, you'll see how the roscado gets kind of, uh, the, the drum roll effect gets kind of muddy. poor rendition of, of the Blue Rios. Um, I'll do a little better on the flamenco, I think. Uh, so that's enough the classical. I'll play a little bit on the um, flamenco. And, and this, mind you, is a uh, modern, uh, more of a modern style sound, rather uh, longer sustained than you normally uh, hear uh, in a Cypress flamenco. Mm -hmm. 
and and then we will uh, use a little trick to try to simulate the uh, old style flamenco. So, again, the uh, the traditional flamenco uh, had pegs because pegs were a lot cheaper than machine heads. Uh, these happen to be expensive pegs. They uh, uh, they're the planetary pegs with the planetary gear system inside. They tune a lot nicer than just a regular set of uh, ebony pegs. Uh, but again, uh, the guitar is probably two-thirds to three-quarters the weight of the classical. Uh, cypress back inside. Cypress is a softwood. is roughly half the density of rosewood. And also I use a lighter weight neck. Uh, the soundboard is actually braced a lot more like the classical and less like a traditional flamenco. By the way, you can hear a, a very bright, punchy sound uh, in the treble. Resonances on this guitar are going to be rather higher than the ones that you saw on the uh, on the response curve, the frequency response curve that uh, Kevin or uh, Trevor took of the uh, Australian uh, flamenco guitar. Um, so in the Bluderias. <laughs> I should do some rascales at that speed. Much more appropriate guitar for that. But really, the old style flamenco, which we're going to try to simulate here with a piece of tape, um, would be more appropriate for something that fast and with a, uh, where you want that sort of machine gun kind of sound out of, a, uh, out of the rascalo. Now, we may have to make some adjustments on this to get it just the right distance. This is a, a trick that Gene Clark showed me many years ago, uh, where you, you put a piece of tape across the strings, oh, somewhere between an eighth and three sixteenths of an inch off the, uh, off the bridge saddle. So this is actually a pretty close approximation of a funky old flamenco guitar, which, oddly enough, Works really well on a uh, on the most serious of all flamenco pieces called uh, cigarilla. you can hear each note very clear because the, the sustain is just killed. There's, we're down to, to banjo sustain type, uh, banjo without a resonator <laughs> type sustain. close. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make some guitars that sound like that, or perhaps a little better, <laughs> without the tape. 